A, B, C, or D here for number one. I know it is a hard, this is a hard one. So it's actually the sample proportion. That's where you get p hat from. So um, let's say, let's put this in context. So let's, what this is saying is, okay, um, there's 21 of you in here right now. And I don't know, let's say 14 are female. So that's your specific characteristic, 14 out of 21. And what's the answer there? The answer is whatever 14 out of 21 is, which is one third, I think, or two thirds. So 67%. That's your proportion. So we'd say 67% of this population of class is female. I don't, I didn't even count, so I might be wrong there. But that's what we're looking at. So that's, sorry, my thing is acting up now. Here we go. 0.67. Okay, and that is the uh, sample proportion. So it's just the percentage, the sample proportion. It's just weird wording there. Uh, number two, the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion is equal to the population. We have mean, mean divided by n, proportion, or proportion divided by n. Yes, A. This one is A. So the mean of the pop, uh, sampling distribution is equal to the mean of the population. I don't know why it's, my thing is acting up. Okay. There we go. So the symbol for this is the mean of P hat. And then the standard deviation is equal to, so we've got that standard deviation calculation, is this one here, the square root of PQ over N. So that one's C. And this symbol is just the square root, or sorry, not the square root, the standard deviation of P hat. All right, so next problem we have, uh, one more vocab here. In the case of proportion, the sample size is large enough. The sampling distribution of the sample proportion is normal if, and it's this one here, NP and NQ are greater than five. All right, so number five, we are doing proportion here. So a company has 411 uh, employees, 104 college graduates, the proportion of employees who are college graduates rounded to three decimal places is what? So how many are college graduates or what percentage? Yeah, so three decimal places, 0.253. And that's the proportion that you're looking at. So that would be your P would be 0.253. Well, let's see here. Next one, you have 40% of all students at a large university live on campus. Suppose you extract a sample of 115 students. The sample proportion is the proportion of students in the sample who live on campus. So the mean would be 40% because this, remember the mean of the sampling distribution is equal to the mean of the population. So this one would just be 0 0.40. The standard deviation of the sampling distribution rounded to four decimal places. So now you have your sample size. So you want your standard deviation. So if your mean is 0 0.40, that's your P, your Q, 
0.60 and your n is 115. Okay, so our formula again, standard deviation of p hat is the square root of p times q over n. Okay, so that would be our standard deviation here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the square root of 0.4 times 0.6. Close that, divided by 115. Close that, we get 0 0.0457. All right, next problem. Okay, so we did one very similar to this um, in the, or both of these, in the um, example. So I want to give you guys a second to try these. So try seven and eight, and then we'll go over them in a minute. 